We libertarians complain about governments trying to do too much. But one thing governments should do is keep us safe. I'm happy to pay taxes for national defense, for my local police department. I know some of it's wasted, but until recently, I didn't know how much. You probably don't know that your local taxes sometimes go to pay people who do nothing but work for their unions. I learned about that from Clint Bolick of the Libertarian Goldwater Institute, who just won an injunction against this practice in Arizona. So what's the practice? It's called release time, and it's literally that. Officers are released from their police work to do union work full time. It's one of the big hidden scams in America. So it's in the union contract for the police that you got to pay us not to patrol streets, but also to do union work. Right. To lobby, to negotiate against the city for its uh, pay increases, to ask for pension increases, to do union recruiting, you name it. Anything except patrolling the streets and keeping us safe. And in Phoenix, there are several, where you are, there are several people who don't do any street patrols. They just do full-time union work? That's right. There's six full-time police officers who do nothing but union work and over 2,000 hours a year allocated for others How to do the same. How much work can there be? <laughs> well, there's no end to it, John. It, it, it's kind of like a slush fund, then. They can do with this work whatever they want. It is a total slush fund. It amounts to a million dollars a year. In Phoenix, Taxpayers pay almost $4 million for 73,000 hours of union release time. That's absolutely right. And, and we have no idea what these people are doing, except we know what they're not doing, which is what they were hired to do. All right. The national president of the American Federation of Government Employees, John Gage, says gains in quality, productivity, efficiency, year after year, department after department, simply would not have been possible without the reasonable and sound use of official time. Well, I got to say there are some bureaucrats who are probably better off not, uh, not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But when you look at cops in particular, every hour diverted away from law enforcement is a, a serious lost hour. There are people getting killed out there, getting robbed. And these folks are riding a union desk and earning the same pensions, John, as the people who are actually risking their lives every day. And so the judge in Arizona says, you've got a point. You've won the first round. That's right. But you're the first person really to challenge this. This goes on all over the country. It's still it does. Going on most it does. Places. And what we're hoping, you know, the unions do not publicize this, nor do the government officials who sign their names on these contracts. It would be embarrassing to say we're paying them to not work. Not just not work, but to argue against the taxpayer. That's right. In Arizona, they, uh, uh, they are paid to negotiate their own contracts. Uh, they're paid to lobby for bills that sometimes the city takes the opposite position on. It's absolutely absurd. Paying police officers not to do police work. Thank you, Clint Bolick uh, of the Goldwater Institute.